Hi there, welcome back to Classroom to Boardroom series. I often get asked by my clients how do I handle difficult interview questions. Yes, today we will be speaking around this aspect. So let's get started. With a little preparation, it's not tough to answer most of the basic interview questions about your skills, experience or capabilities. Secure issues arise with what would you do in this situation? And then there's the off the wall kind of question. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? I'm just wondering what kind of tree I would be. To which there is no right answer. Trick is prepare yourself to handle whatever is thrown at you, keeping in mind that the interviewer typically is trying to find out how you handle yourself and whether you can think on your feet when he asks tough questions. Few tips to consider. Think about the type of job you are seeking and what tough situations might arise in that job. Figure out how you would handle them and be prepared to explain your solutions to the interviewer. Interviewers try to determine how you did respond in difficult situations at work, such as coping with a problem, co-worker or managing a difficult client crisis. Two, think before you speak when answering questions about your former boss or employer. Even if you hated the guy or your former co-workers, don't say so. Find the silver lining in your former job. Never badmouth the former boss or co-workers. This might be interpreted as an inability to work well with others and cast doubts about whether you can be trusted, trusted to be diplomatic. 3. Expect the so-called caught you questions, the ones that make you think the interviewer is trying to trip you up. One of the most common questions in this category is the dreaded, what is your greatest weakness or even worse, an interviewer may ask, what was your greatest failure? In most cases, the interviewer isn't trying to make you feel uncomfortable. He's trying to assess your self-awareness, adaptability and personal integrity and to find out whether you have grown in your career. Don't play dumb or pretend that you have never made an error at work, but stick to a minor issue and focus on how you have used the experience for self-improvement. I'm sure you have found this useful. This is Ashwini Das Gupta, your personal development NLP expert, signing off. And yes, do follow up socials. Until I see you next, be you, be confident. Take care. Bye-bye.